Hello everybody, it's uh, Andrew from Precision Firearms Training. Um, recently there's been some discussion centered around the M1 Grand and uh, correct nomenclature of this little beast. Um, first of all, this is un kind of contrary to everything we've probably been taught up to now. This is not a magazine. Uh, the correct nomenclature for this is a 8-round N block clip. Uh, once the rounds are loaded into this clip, it's loaded into the top of the M1 Grand into its magazine. The purpose of this video is I'm just going to kind of show you how the rounds go into the clip. Uh, this is just kind of my way of loading it. I don't you know if there's ever a right way or wrong way, but it's my way. Um, it's kind of an in interesting beast in that it uses the odd shape here. Let's see if I can get a little better shot over there for you. The tapered shape creates spring tension on the, the cartridges and holds them in place. Uh, and that's how this was carried. Usually they become bandoliered, uh, already loaded. But So what I do is uh, I just kind of stand it up on end and uh, I start laying the, the cartridges in here. Uh, it, it's kind of haphazard when you first start because there's no pressure on them. But... There'll be a method to the madness here in a minute. So just kind of hold your finger in there. As you're going about doing this, you're going to want to make sure that back here, the, the base of the, the cartridge stays seated in the clip. Okay. Now, once you get your seventh round in there, this is where it's going to get a little touchy. Just make sure they're all... So there's one soft. So there it goes. So make sure they're all seated. Before you put the tension on her, you can hear them snapping into place. Now they're all level. Okay. So then this last one, you just kind of what I do is I just start here at the top, push down, you hear it click, and it rolls it into place, just like over the lip of a um, like an AR magazine or whatever, but it holds it in place. And there you go. It doesn't matter which way you put the rounds in; the grand will will, will chamber this no matter what they do. Okay. Um, talking to a guy recently, um, new to the M1 Grand, and, uh, we were kind of giving him some warnings of things to watch out for. Uh, the biggest thing about the M1 Grand is the way it's loaded. Um, if you're not careful, you'll get what they call M1 Grand thumb, and that's where your thumb gets pushed into the, the breech as it's loaded. Um, I'm not going to load this because these are live rounds. But to load it, you simply put the, the end block clip on top of the magazine follower, just like that. Okay? And then what you would do is take your hand, put the meaty portion back here on your following, following rod, charging handle. Okay? Keep it in place. You would then push down on your rounds until they clicked in, and you'll see the bolt start to move forward right behind my thumb. That's it. So once you would have your clip seated in the magazine, you just simply let go. If your hand is on the following rod right here, as soon as that magazine clicks in, or excuse me, the clip clips into the magazine, your thumb will go with it. Okay? And that's the basic loading of the M1 Grand. Now, if you want, when you're firing this weapon, once the eighth round is fired, this clip will come flying out of the top. Um, if for some reason you want to unload this prior to firing your eighth magazine, you simply hold the bolt to the rear like it is now, and you just simply depress this right here. That will cause the clip and all the ammunition that's left in the rifle to come flying out the top. Um, that's pretty much the long and short of it. Fairly simple rifle, a beautiful rifle to shoot, fun to own. If you have any questions about it, feel free to look us up either uh, on our Facebook page or you can send us an email at instructorpft at gmail.com. Thank you for taking a few seconds and watching our video. Have a good day.